I'm James McGuire, editor of Datamation, and our topic today is improving your big data strategy. To talk about that, we've got uh, two and possibly three thought leaders. Uh, with us is Fern Helper, research director for advanced analytics at TVWI. Hello to you, Fern. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good, good. And you know, I, I, I have your book. I, I've, I've actually bought this a while ago, probably more than a, a year ago, which you, you the, the Big Data Guide, uh, the Big Data for Dummies, which you wrote with uh, Judith Hurwitz, Alan Nugent, and Marcia Kaufman. Hope yep. you're still selling some copies on that. <coughs> yep. It, you but, know, uh, it's outdated so quick. I, I know. It's amazing. To, to put that down in print is almost an act of courage, you know. Uh, also with us is uh, James Kobielis, uh, Big Data Evangelist for Big Blue for IBM. Hello to you, Jim. Hi, James. Hi, Fern. Hello, everybody out there. It's a lovely day that we're expecting a blizzard to start in the next 24 hours. Uh, it's a lovely day before storm. <laughs> because, because you're there on the East Coast, right, Jim? Where I'm, are you I'm at? I'm in the Washington, D.C. area. So, yes. <laughs> Big data. We're snowed in with big data here too. <laughs> Jim, Jim, what 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 are like a couple of the projects you're right in the middle of it at this point in terms of your big data life? Sure. Well, I'll tell you what I do for IBM in a nutshell. I'm of mm -hmm. course a subject matter expert. I blog and speak on it constantly. Everybody can see that. And I tweet, you know. But uh, fundamentally, what I do for IBM is that I'm, um, I'm I do thought leadership marketing. I manage the technical marketing sector of the IBM Big Data Analytics Hub, which is our of our primary content marketing uh, channels, um, huh. we publish. I'm a publisher. I'm an, like an almost like an editor in chief, essentially. You're you're a content expert in, in essence. Yeah. Among other things. And those are some of the hats that I wear for for Big Blue. Uh, also with us is Stephanie McReynolds, uh, VP of Marketing for Silicon Valley startup Elation. Hello to you, Stephanie. Hi, James. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, in in a nutshell, what does Elation do? I don't think that everyone knows about Elation quite yet. Not not quite yet. We're working on that, but maybe not quite yet. So, <laughs> Elation is a as a data catalog, and um, you know I think that we're differentiated from the perspective of we're a data catalog that's really built for collaboration, both uh, human machine collaboration as well as collaboration between individuals. Um, you might be asking now, what is a data catalog? <laughs> well, a, a data catalog. I've heard it described as Yelp for big data. Is you know, is one of the the tag terms. Yeah, that's a great a great analogy. Think Yelp for big data, or even like an Amazon for big data. You know, on on Yelp, uh, you have descriptions of places, and users are able to tag those those places, um, provide um, a rating for places they they visit, and share places with other people, and if you're a consumer and you're trying to figure out how to where to go to dinner, you search for a place and find it. We're basically doing the same thing for, for data. So in Alation, um, individuals can um, tag data sets, communicate and collaborate around um, data sets. We also give analysts insight into what's the lineage of that data, where did it start from, is it actually stored in Teradata or Hadoop or Vertica, or is it in a semantic layer in your, your BI tool, and help right. analysts increase their productivity and also trust the data a little bit more because they have all the information. Great. So uh, big data, you know, it's the interesting thing about the, the area of big data is that, you know, we've all covered it for years and, and been involved with it. And But I, I wonder what the actual adoption rate is. And, and I, I asked the three of you, what you know, how the market is really doing. I, I read this re, uh, report recently from Howard Dresner Advisory. And, it talked about the actual adoption rate among companies, and the figure that he came up with was 17%, which says to me that actual involvement in big data continues to be closer to its infancy than really, really being all the way mainstream, which kind of surprised me. For what's your what's your sense of where the market really is today? Yeah, I, I think he's probably in directionally correct. I mean, we do a lot of surveys, obviously, at TDWI, and we actually also have assessments, so one of them was actually a big data maturity model where users, and you could still do this, you can go to our website and click on maturity models, go in, answer a bunch of questions, and find out how mature you are in terms of big data. And so people answered a whole bunch of questions, and it looks like in terms of you know volume, I'd say, and, and we have a Hadoop readiness assessment out there now to see if you're actually ready for Hadoop and in it we actually ask how much data do you collect, how much data are you used to managing, you know that sort of thing and, and less than 10% of organizations are actually, of 
at least the respondents, you know, to our survey, were actually feel like they could manage petabytes of data. Mm -hmm. You know, a much higher percent, like 30 or 40 percent, are managing or have experience managing terabytes of data. So if you look at, you know, volume, big data, 10 terabytes, you know, so there's there's enough organizations out there that can do that in terms of you know the kinds of data that they're managing mostly it's structured data but of course you know we know big data is disparate data so I'd say in surveys that we do about 30 percent of organizations actually are looking at capturing and analyzing text data you know and then you look at sort of streaming data right in terms of velocity high velocity sorts of data and you know that's that's low that's under 20 percent although there's huge interest in it, you know, when you look at these charts, it's sort of like, you know, 30% are interested, 30% are doing it, and another 40, 50% claim that they're going to be doing it in the next couple of years. So we're definitely on the cusp if these people actually stick to their plans. You know, it's sometimes people get exuberant when they answer surveys. Right. So, you know, it's uh, I think Howard is probably directionally correct with that. Well, okay. so, I, I would actually ask you the same thing, but one one caveat to the question, I guess, if if it is still you know minor like that, what what why the why the foot dragging? Considering we've been told these many years that big data is this huge competitive advantage, so why why are companies just flocking to it you know as quickly as they can? Jim, what what do you, what do you think? Well, first of all, maybe I say that firms' numbers and TWI's numbers are probably pretty much within the ballpark in terms of overall adoption. But big data analytics solutions, and we're a diversified uh, provider of, of the uh, of products and services for big data analytics. Big data in all of its solutionized glory is remains one of our core growth areas, growth segments of IBM analytics across the board. So it's growing for us. And now in, in terms of um, your question, can you repeat your question again, Jim? The, 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 the question is, um, it seems like big data adoption is slower than you might think based on the many headlines and a lot of coverage it has gotten over the years. 17% uh, based on my reading of a Howard Dresner advisory research report. Mm -hmm. is it, is, does the market really seem close to, as close to infancy as that report would suggest? Not really. I mean, if you look at the fact that very large databases, that was an old term for big data, been around for quite a long time. Petascale, or I should say terabyte scale uh, data warehouses have been, um, you know, in a significant number of, I used to be at Forrester, of course, significant number of user companies uh, um, for, for, quite a, for quite a while now. The uh, data warehouses of the world sort of cross, on average cross the terabyte uh, barrier um, you know, at least five, six, seven years ago, back during my analyst days, uh, on average. So, the, in a sense, you know, it depends on where you set the threshold of big data. If it's purely the, the amount of storage, uh, amount of data you have in storage for analytical uh, applications. Uh, if you started down at one terabyte for, say, a data warehouse and so forth, you have a, a broad adoption for big data. Now, if you if you scope it more narrowly, big data to refer to simply Hadoop, one platform. Um, then that's another matter altogether. But I think very large data sets for analytic applications um, within enterprises have been in adoption for, for quite some time. Um, so in a sense, you know, what, what do you call big data? What do you say? Well, well I, I, guess, I guess what I mean, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of guesstimate in terms of what the research report meant, is, is not the total amount of big data that's being stored, you know, but it's like what they're actually doing with it. Are they really effectively mining it for insight? Are they, are they constantly sifting through it? Is there some way to actually get information from all that data? Well, you know, if, really, if you take the three V's of big data, the volume, I hit on volume, you know, if you, if you start at terabytes, one terabyte is big data, you have a large market or a large adoption. If you start at one petabyte, you have a small market. Likewise, the velocity. If you start, if it's, if it's, it's purely focused on stream computing environments and adoption, if you broaden it to complex event processing, that's been around for a long, long time. So, I mean, in, in, in particular niche markets like CEP, of course, in the financial market from long back. In other words, you could say that's an old established market that's held its own. Um, or if you're talking about some specific new uh, uh, technology that does, say, high, uh, low latency data integration and analytics, um, like uh, Spark Streaming, no, it's a fairly immature market. So it really de depends on 
which Vs you're using, like you know, right. variety. You have unstructured data stores from long back for ECM. To some degree, there have been um, you know, uh, uh, those kinds of platforms used for analytics for quite some time in various markets, like in publishing and so forth. So once again, where do you, which Vs do you select when you're defining big data? What thresholds of those Vs in terms of magnitude of the amount of data in storage and whatever, where do you set that bar? You can, make, you can define it as a large market or as a small market. If you define it as one platform like a Hadoop, or if you just narrow it down even further to say Spark on top of Hadoop. Right. Stephanie, Stephanie, what's your what's your take? Are you seeing big data as closer to its um, infancy, or is it is it closer to to mainstream? Well, I do I do agree with um, with James that it depends how you define big data and, and how are you classifying this market. So. You know, you look at um, big data from a database perspective, and Teradata has had a petabyte club for, I think, close to tw 20 years. Right. Um, so if you define it broadly as folks that are using large volumes of, of data or that are approaching big data from a structured data perspective, um, there's lots of uh, adoption out there. Um, I think, you know, I think Gartner... Well, what, what would you, oh, what's the percentage in your... In your what, what do you hear? Oh, I... Oh. I, it's hard for me to put a percentage on it. From a, from a vendor perspective, Alation sells only to companies that are doing big data. <laughs> so, right, right. So all your customers are already on board. Or, yeah, big okay. Data customers, right? But, but uh, you're not encountering a lot of people who go, well, we want to get on board, but we're not yet. You know, call us in 2017. We don't. We actually don't talk to a lot of folks who say call us in 2017. So that's, okay. you know, I, I know for a, a fact that we're talking databases, there's a large market out there. I think Gartner pegged um, back in uh, May, they published a report that was a little controversial at the time uh, from a vendor perspective, but they pegged um, Hadoop adoption at 26%, which is quite a bit larger than, than Howard's number. Um, and you know, I think if you ask Cloudera, they'll give you a, even a higher number. So it's, it's Cloudera, hard. Is, Cloudera is very that. big on Hadoop, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think we're, yeah, we we had less than it was around a little bit less than thirty percent adoption of Hadoop. If you know, with the people that are respondents, so that's actually closer to. Uh, I mean, if you just look at Hadoop, you know, because we we see a lot of people at a lot of our events and conferences, you know, and and they have what you're saying. I mean, they have terabytes worth of data stuck in you know their database, not stuck in their databases, you know, but in their warehouses. But they're talking about you know now extending the ecosystem to Hadoop, and about a little less than 30 percent of them are you know claim that they actually are doing something with Hadoop. It's probably proof of concept. It's probably not. You know, may not. Who knows? You know, it's actually becoming more mainstream now. A couple of years ago, people would say, "What's Hadoop?" You know, right. and obviously they're all, you know, jumping on the Hadoop, using Hadoop. You know, for and what's the threshold for mainstream in terms of adoption. BI. You mentioned Howard Dresner. He's been called the father of BI. BI in his current status as, as a mar as, as distinct market has been around for 25 years or so. And I remember when I was at Forrester, Boris Evelson uh, did some research that found that BI adoption, in, in, this is like five years ago, was no more than like 10% of operational BI in terms of actual knowledge workers using operational BI. BI by almost anybody's reckoning is a mainstream technology in the enterprise right. world, but it doesn't have a huge adoption in terms of not everybody in the business world is using BI every day. Likewise, not everybody's using uh, uh, big data, but there are obviously strong niches in verticals and also within the horizontals within organizations that are using big data constantly. Chief marketing officers and their organizations use big data constantly for social sentiment analysis. We certainly do at IBM. Right. So it's like, so for example, the, the whole big data revolution really got going five years ago when the CMOs of the world discovered it. They discovered something called Hadoop and MapReduce that can help them you know, filter the fire hose of Twitter to identify, you know, you know, you know, uh, sentiment that they can drive into their marketing campaigns. So in many ways, it's already mainstream in, in the CMO world. Big data, it's just not mainstream down at the, at, you know, at the desktop of everybody's desktop. Stephanie, did you get your, did you finish your thought there? I want to make sure you finish your thought about the adoption in the market. Well, I was just going to say that my guess is some of Howard's numbers, since you know, since since he is involved in the BI community, are more reflective of what does BI on Hadoop today look like. And we do know that majority of the Hadoop implementations, I think no matter what study you look at, majority of the Hadoop implementations are still for transforming data 
and what looks like a more like an ETL workload. And so I think that that's where we have a little bit of a barrier to adoption is how do we make it easier for business people who want to use big data for analytics and want to use Hadoop, how do we help them find, access the information, and actually get some of these self-service BI experiences on top of Hadoop as, as infrastructure? 